This lesson is going to be based on rotation and twists, which is incredibly important for kayakers um, to, to gain maximum efficiency in paddling and in general twisting and mobility through the shoulders and upper back, um, all the way down to lower back. So start in a seated position on your mat with your left leg extended and your right knee drawing in towards you. We're gonna hook the right leg over the top of the leg the left one, so it's in line with your left knee. And now we're gonna to twist to the right, so you can either hold and hug your right knee with your left hand, or hook the elbow over the top of the knee, which is a little bit more intense if you choose that option. Bring in your right hand behind your lower back, trying to sit up tall and grounded through the sit bones, lengthening out through the crown of the head, twist in to the right to look over towards your right shoulder. And then just bring your attention to your left leg, making sure that your left foot is flexed so that it encourages you to sit strong and straight to gain brilliant posture. So breathing in these twists can be a little bit more tricky. So just making sure that you can inhale deeply and exhale completely. Slowly release and come all the way back to your centre. We're going to unhook your right foot and bring it onto the inside of your left leg. And now keeping your hand facing away from you, kind of off the edge of the right side of the mat and a little bit further behind your sit bones. We're going to sweep the, the left arm all the way round to the right, press through the right hand and then start to kneel into your right knee to lift the hips up and away from the ground into kind of a rainbow pose, reaching your left arm all the way out behind you, getting this mobility and stretch and opening through the left side body. Slowly releasing your bum all the way back down to the ground and we're gonna to switch to the other side. So the right leg extends, the left knee draws in and hooks over the top of your right leg, just in line with your knee. I'm gonna to twist to the left, so either hugging with your right arm so that your left hand can come behind your lower back or hooking the elbow over the top of the knee to gain a bit more traction through this twist. So you may be able to feel a little bit of a sensation in the upper back. You may notice some feedback in the sense of clicking or creaking, and that's totally fine. Just make sure that this doesn't feel uncomfortable, truly uncomfortable. Slowly release your way back through to centre. We're going to bring the left foot onto the inside of the right thigh. And again, bring your left hand behind your back, fingers face away from you. And now sweep your right, round, right arm all the way round to the left, pressing down through the left hand as you lift the bum, reaching the right arm out behind you. So you have an elongated length through the right middle finger all the way down towards the outside of your right foot. Slowly lowering your bum all the way back down to the ground. I'm gonna lift all the way up onto your feet, grounding through the heels, bringing the big toes to touch, bending into the legs, and then either bringing the hands up onto the knees as they're bent or onto your hips. And then we're gonna to twist to your right first. So maybe hooking the left hand over the outside of the right knee or hook the elbow over the top of the knee if you can. Maybe bringing the thumbs to meet at your, at your chest centre. And just check that your right knee is in line with the left. Gaining that incredible stretch through the side body into this twist. Slowly releasing your hands down and we're going to step your right leg all the way to the back of the mat. So ground the right hand, we're going to twist towards the left knee and the left leg, reaching your left arm up and into the sky. If that's too much, you can come onto your fingertips or you can grab your prop to place underneath the hand. Maybe circle your shoulder, your arm, all the way around as you lift and twist. And then slowly bring in your left elbow to rest on top of the left knee or thigh. I'm gonna drop the instep of your back foot so that the heel's on the ground. And then sweep your right arm forwards so that you can look underneath your armpit up 
towards the ceiling or to the sky. And again, gaining that length through the whole side body from your right middle finger to the outside of the right foot. Nice. Slowly releasing your hand down, coming onto the toes of your back foot and then sliding your left foot and left knee down. And just take a moment here, perhaps in a child's pose, as you release your way forwards to release the spine, reset the breath. Now inhale, lift and look forwards at your hands. Walk your hands off the right side edge of the mat and place the left hand on top of the right before breathing and releasing your way down, back towards the ground. A strong grip through that top hand is going to allow you to feel feedback all the way through the left side body. As you gain a bit of a stretch, breathe into it. Now slowly lift all the way back up through to centre. We're going to step the feet to the top of the mat. Again, big toes touching. Sit, sit down really low, weight into the heels, maybe so you can wiggle the toes and either raise the hands up to the knees or onto your hips. This time we're going to twist to the left. So bring in your right hand over the left knee, encouraging your torso and chest to face out to the left side. Or you can hook your elbow over the top of the knee, ensuring again this side that the knee is in line, your left knee is in line with the right. Maybe bring in your hands together to bring your thumbs to your sternum. Really nice, and then slowly release. We're going to step the left leg back this time in a nice wide lunge. Ground down your left hand and twist to your right. So twist towards your front leg, reaching your right arm up and into the sky. Maybe rotate your right arm all the way out behind you, forwards and up. A couple more times. And then slowly draw your chest down to prop the elbow on top of your right knee and thigh. Drop the instep of your back foot and then we're going to reach the left arm forward, sending your gaze underneath your left armpit and up towards the sky or the ceiling. Slowly releasing your hands down to frame your front foot. Come onto the toes of the back foot and just slide the knees back onto the mat. Knees can be a little bit wider. Draw your bum back towards your heels and release down for a child's pose just for a couple of moments. Slowly breathe in, walk the hands this time off the left side edge of the mat. Right hand plugs on top of the left. Really strong, firm grip as you bow your chest and your head down towards the ground. Opening up this time through the right side body. So really breathing into the right side of the lungs. And slowly lifting your gaze, walking your hands all the way back onto your mat. Lifting your bum up, spin your legs to one side and then come all the way onto your backs. Hugging your knees in towards your chest. Now there's an option here of taking both knees over to one side or doing this one leg at a time. You may want to go through both of these options, but both knees release down first, extending your left arm out to the left, turning your gaze to look out towards your reaching hand, checking in that your shoulder blades and upper back is relaxing down onto the ground. Lifting the knees up through centre and then over to the left as you breathe out. Extending your right arm out to the right side, shoulder blades grounding. Maybe using your left hand just to enhance the twist. And slowly inhale, drawing the knees back up into your centre and you can either rock your way forwards and up or roll your knees to one side to come back up into a seated position. You can sit on your 
on your prop if you need to, especially if you find that your knees are higher than your hips, or you can have your legs extended out in front of you if that's more comfortable here. But we're just gonna reach the arms all the way high as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower your right hand to the ground and left arm reaches over to the right side. You may be able to lower down onto your right forearm perhaps. See how that feels. Really extending out through the left hand and then inhale back up through center and releasing to the left side. And then inhale, lifting all the way up through centre with both arms. Take your left hand onto your right knee and your right hand behind your lower back. So you're turning towards the right again. Twisting through the spine, sitting up tall. Imagine you have a piece of string running all the way up through the spine and out through the crown of the head. Not leaning into your back hand. Maybe even TP in the fingers so that you get that extra rotation. And then just leaning back, unravel the legs, switch to bring the other leg in front if you did have your legs in a cross-legged position. And now twist to the left, bringing your right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind your lower back, turning your gaze to look over your left shoulder this time. And using your right hand, the one that's on the knee, as a, like a lever to encourage that rotation, that twist, bringing our spine into shapes that aren't the default sometimes. So it's quite limiting. It's amazing for our spinal health. And slowly coming all the way back to centre and just maybe give yourself a little moment to just round the back, extend the back. And there we are. Thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.